Hey guys. Welcome back to Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. I'm Chris. And I'm Devin. We're back to doing Whiskey Wednesdays. So we are talking about Woodford 124.7 proof. Yeah, I picked this up at my friend's over there, my new friend, um, over at Allen D's when I did that uh, that bourbon and tequila and I ended up just being a bourbon hunt. <laughs> and Alan said, you got to get this. It's like really hot right now. And it's 120, 124.7 proof. Um, and he's like telling me, man, not many people have this yet. You got to try it out. So, so I grabbed it. So this Thanks, is Alan. awesome. Thank you for making sure you hook us up with the best. Thanks for taking a moment to hit that like, that subscribe, share us with your friends. Help us really continue to connect with all of you guys by sharing us <laughs> um so woodford yes. we have done a review of the regular stuff yep um uh, the double oak i think it is that double is. oak and we've done yeah. the regular mm. um both well all three of them i'm sure being fantastic woodford's vision on this one was what's the future look like for our company <laughs> we want to knock people out no <laughs> that is that is what this is. Is, oh, really? is the future of their company. Okay. Um so they are going with a much, much different direction. Obviously a high proof. Um it's obviously currently a limited edition. Um and as they say, this is not for the faint of heart. I can smell it from over here. Can you smell that? Is that I I guess some maple, but I'm not sure. Ooh, that actually does smell pretty good. Ooh. I'm totally down. Um, um, and they're saying that the Reserves Master Distiller is a, you know, is this is one that stands completely on its own. But show me a Woodford that doesn't stand on its own, honestly. I do like Woodford. I, you know, like, because in Woodford is one of those ones that are readily available at the bars, and it's not a bad spirit, you know? Right. So, like, if they say, hey, do you want a Manhattan or a old-fashioned i say i'd like to have either woodford or you know some other ones because obviously you know we're not going to pay booker's prices in a manhattan even right. though it'd be really 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 good but you know with this one they use the finest grains and purest limestone filter available obviously the best grain that they can get um they're looking for a blend of sweet and spicy um because that's it's typically what they're known for um god this smells good um this is produced in limited quantities um making it a prized possession for collectors bourbon enthusiasts and um it's highly desirable awesome. um and as they say this is a glimpse into the future um it is whether you're a seasoned bourbon connoisseur or an adventurous spirit looking to expand your palate, Woodserve, Woodford Reserve's Master Collection um, is a must-have addition to your collection. Bold strength, intricate flavors, collectible natures, and great talking piece. Yeah, no, it is. It's nice so far. I'm getting some, I don't know, I kind of want to say I get a little bit of honey Maybe a little brown sugar, some fall baking spices on this. Hmm. I mean, I'm holding it. We're using our big head size glasses, so I can swirl the hell out of it. <laughs> but it's also helping out. I mean, I'm getting some caramels even. Yep, definitely the caramel. Boy, I can't I can't get too obviously, close to it. <laughs> obviously a nice toasting of the oak. You know, like a nice barrel to it. Uh, you know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. No, the barrel is really nice. It does have a different toast smell than my Booker's. Correct. Um boy, the other night I just got into that Booker's and it was just like I don't know what it was about the other night, but then that was so perfect. And then the the biggest hints that they talk about are yeah. um, intricate tasting notes, uh, including rich caramel, toasted oak, dark chocolate, vanilla, dried fruit, 
and a slight spiciness from the rye. So I think what you're calling baking spices is actually that rye. It's very possible, yes. Um, boy, the longer I let it open up, the more I get different notes uh, and different nuances from it. Um, oh yeah, that's nice. Um, God, I'm trying to pick something else because I, you know I don't pick everything up. What you got? I, I possibly well, it's not what I got for the record. That is what Woodford is true, saying. True, true. <laughs> it's not what I got. That, I'm thinking like for dried fruits. I'm thinking if if I'm going to pick a fruit, I would say like a dried apricot. Okay. To me, it's got some cinnamon to it, like uh, like trident cinnamon gum. <laughs> Okay. You know, light but sweet. I'm not getting the cinnamon on this. It's on the very end, so like after you swirl it and let it come by your nose. I know, we're like probably looking crazy with our... Just... But, you know, it really does help it to open up as it's sticking to the glass. I mean, it is just got a great viscosity. Look how dark this thing is. It is nice and dark, dark amber. Um... Well, let's try her out. <laughs> Cheers. I know I love that. <laughs> mm. You know, for 124 proof, it's not. That is very smooth. I was expecting to be, like, knocked off my chair. Just saying. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, I like this way better than the regular Woodfords. <laughs> you are the master of eye proof. <laughs> I don't know what it is lately. I have been really drawn to a lot of spirits with their high proof. You know, especially tequilas. But, man, I just think there's so much more flavor and boldness um there's some heat but it's not it's not <laughs> offensive i mean for 124 i was i was a little afraid to be honest with you i'm getting a lot of the caramel there is some sweet undertone to me yes um but i'm not quite a honey i'm getting caramel and and maybe like werther's original style caramel um Because I, I get the beautiful caramel, I get like um, a toasted almond almost, which I think is really the barrel. Um, and mm -hmm. then I get something sweet, like a... I'm, 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 I'm getting what you're laying down. It does have a sweet tinge to it, but not syrup, but... It, it's, it just, it's just rounds out the entire flavor. It's beautiful. There's a ton of stuff going on right now. My head is like, ooh, could it be this? Could it be that? Could it be this? Could it be that? It's just really delicious. I mean, most people aren't trying to pick out different flavors. Like, what I'm trying to give you. And that's exactly so. My boss watches our show, our show which is <laughs> awesome. Um, shout out to you, boss. Um, <laughs> but he's like... You know what? I don't understand how you guys do it. You guys are are talking about alcohol on a different note. You're you're talking about flavors, and and he's like, I don't get it. Like when let's when, talk about that for a when second. When I want to drink, like I'm drinking. It's not about picking out those things, and so and so I'm like, no. But to me, it's always been about that. I've done that as long as we've been friends. Because you're like, oh, try this, and I'm like. Oh, are you getting this? And blah, blah, blah. So for as long as we've been together, you know, I've always kind of gone that angle. And for me, it's never about getting trashed. You know, it's about and tasting good and finding those. That's true. So when I wanted to talk about when I wanted to start the channel and everything like that <laughs> is because we talk about what we get from this and that. And I'm sure there's folks out there. Maybe it's you. Um, that just like, well, before I buy it, I'd like to know, are these some of the flavors that I tend to draw myself to? Same thing when it comes to like, well, even something as mundane as cologne. 
Correct. You know, like myself, when I pick out a cologne, I like something with spices and, you know, I, I want I want that style of a cologne. And I like fresh and, you know, and citrusy and kind of oceany. Yeah. And it, that's just and that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell you, OK, well, if you're considering this, number one, yes, I got it for a decent price. I feel like I, I, I did. I think it was right around one hundred and thirty bucks. I think I paid for it. Um. Which I think that's very in, in um, today's for, this, for, this, for, for today's bourbon prices that are just going stupid through the roof, you know I ten bucks more I paid the you know paid that for my uh, for my uh, what do you call it the um, bookers. bookers which I that I, I already check out on. our content we did a review on that one just a, a week ago um, or two all right I don't remember final notes um, yeah definitely caramel brown sugar. Maybe on the back I get a little cinnamon, but it's so light, it's not much there. Um, beautiful. Now I'm getting a little more of that toasted barrel that you were talking about, but it, I didn't get it at first. It's only now developing. Um, but that's me. I'm breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> so, recommendation? Oh my God, yes. Um, of course. I'm Aunt Alan. Thank you again. We appreciate it. You uh, suggesting this because it wasn't even on my list of wants. So thank you again. But guys, we appreciate you. Stay tuned for more. We're going to always keep posting more. And I see that our subscriptions are ticking up, ticking up, ticking up. We're almost to 300. I know we got a long, long, long way to go. But we can't do it without you. And we appreciate you. But always, guys, remember to always sip, sip savor, savor, and, and celebrate. celebrate. Salud. Salud.